Hi guys, welcome back to Webjeda. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to send emails in SvelteKit. Uh, now I'm sending the email to this particular email. That is because I can cross check. And you can have any subject body in uh, CC, BCC, all those things. And you can also do that on any action. Let's say you have e-commerce set up and somebody completes an order. You can send the email to the customer right after the order. Here I am making it so that you know I can click the button and then it goes. But you can do it on any action. So let's say let's have a subject like your order has been received or something. And uh, thanks for the order. Here is what you have. Order. So maybe you provide a list. Uh, let's send. I should see a small message here. Yeah, email to send. Let me go back here. Uh, let's wait for the email. I'm guessing, yeah, it has come. And this is what I typed. Uh, it has come from this email. So this is what this is a Gmail. And we're going to configure SMTP using Gmail. Let's get to it. I have this empty directory here where I'm going to install Svelte kit. So npm create Svelte should do it. I'm going to install the dependencies. I'm also going to serve this. Alright, if I refresh, I have this uh, skeleton circuit. Now let's build the form I showed in the demo. Now I have the markup ready for it, so I'm not going to waste much of my time here. So I'm going to go here in source, routes, and page. I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to explain what I have done here. Uh, so it's just a form inside a field set. Uh, you don't really need this. So here is the form and it has method equals post and there is no action. So if there is no action mentioned, it's going to use the default action. Um, I have set the value already uh, for this to email and other things are empty. Now if I come back here, I should see. So I got it. Um, now when I submit it, it's going to go to the actions if we have mentioned so i'm going to create page.server.js and here i'm going to have actions so export on actions now we are going to have a default because there is nothing else here and in this action uh, here we are going to receive the request And when the form is submitted, we are going to receive it here. So the way we can get it is const uh, form data calls uh, await request start form data. And you can console.log, same thing. Uh, let's see if this, if this comes. Okay. Now, if I hit send and see the terminal I should see all these fields yeah I'm, I'm seeing all these fields uh, these are empty because I haven't entered anything but yeah this works now once I got this uh, data I can easily set up my email and send it so I'll have to set up node mailer to send the email so I have the uh, code ready here so I have something called transporter which is uh, set up here. So I'm going to copy this file entirely. So what it does is it, it imports node mailer and sets up few default things for us, which is Google email and you know password. Now how to get this email and password? Let me get this thing with the same name, email setup inside library, email setup js, and I'll paste it here. Now you see that there are 
to environment variables because you should never put your credentials in your code also in git because you know once you have it in git it's it's always there so i'm gonna have to get these right so one of them i already know the email which i'm gonna use which is called webshader.com at gmail.com so you can use any gmail because i have the access to this uh, email i'm gonna use that now let me log into this because in order to get the password it's not the password that you use to log in it's a it's called app password so you will have to use that so let me set that up now go to google account here and you will have to go to security tab so if you have I mean, create a gmail if you don't have one uh, here i'm specifically explaining gmail but you can use other emails as well if it supports smtp now first thing you should do is two-step verification which I have done already so you will have to go here I think it will ask you a phone number and which will send you a OTP and then you will have to verify it so that's one another thing is you have to go to once you do that you have to go to app passwords so you can search for app passwords here and uh, once you get that option you can go here you can do something you can select maybe mail and then other and then give it a name like send emails app or something and then generate once you do that you get this password and this is the password you're going to use here as app password all right so if if things are right configured right uh, it should it should work now so we have set this up now i'll explain what this is node mailer which is not installed it should have thrown an error but i think it did not anyway so um let me open a new terminal here i'll uh, npm install in dev node mailer so let that install okay so that is done now here we are getting the email and password from private and also if you look at this I have named it as email setup.js I should be renaming it as .server.js uh, this is because these files .server.js files can only be accessed in server and also will not be visible to your users so that way whatever you have here is safe now we are using this private google email and password and uh, these setup and then we'll also see whether it is ready or not so let me import that here i think i can just use this here where we have imported the email and also the transporter now this transporter code if you if you're not sure you can always go here and see how to set up this is exactly what i have used uh, the the first one there are other use cases that if it suits you you can you can change it accordingly and this is the line i have used uh, here so that's it i have taken the simplest possible things and used it uh, now once this is done so let's see uh, okay so we are gonna do something called HTML so which is uh, we will also have to get email subject and body from the form data so which we're gonna do and then we create this HTML string uh, with with these things um, and once we do that we'll configure this message which we are gonna use to send where we'll have subject which is which we got here and all those things and HTML will be HTML that we just created uh, maybe I'll change it to high user okay and once that is done uh, this is send email uh, this is also available somewhere I'll, I'll provide it to you because I'll, I'll provide the entire code now send mail what it does is it uh, creates a promise and it 
make sure transporter dot send email send mail is run and what is the result of it and we'll have to run it the send mail thing with message the message is this and once that's done uh, we'll return success now if you observe i haven't used try catch block here you if you want you can you can have it uh, that way your app will not break if something breaks here uh, now that is done so let me look at the code here so it says server is started uh, let me try to send something did i get something yeah it says email is sent uh, yes so I, I did get it but there is no subject or message so let me enter a subject um, your items are shipped uh, a user maybe you know if you get his name you can you can use that here is your tracking id or something right so you can send that and that should show up here in some time yeah your items shipped so uh, this is how you can send emails using smtp now this is not how you do it usually because uh, you do it whenever somebody uh, completes the order you send an email once uh, you ship it you just click a button and it should send the email to the particular user saying your order has been shipped with this tracking ID. maybe you should enter the tracking ID somewhere i mean once you once you know this uh, those things are quite easy now one more thing is if you if you have multiple emails sent from the same route then maybe change this to some uh, like action to some name like let's say you want something like send mail or something send email you can come here and use that as your actions name now you can use multiple actions so this is one you can use a similar one like comma and then you can use other actions so let's say you have one for sending um, sign up email sending order confirmation email or uh, shipment email or anything like so those things can be handled here so this sh this should still work as the as the same same way let me see what happened here default with name default font no action with name okay so why is it going to default action equals send email okay so i think it's question mark slash send email so uh, i'm guessing that is how it is yeah so it works all right now that's how you send an email using kit and make sure you keep them in so file because otherwise others can see it okay thanks guys bye bye